So I've just been given this G pass. I forgot the call now. Oil filled radiator. So it's not working. So it's got power control, high to low, some sort of potentiometer or that sounds like a thermostat. The three power switch. So if it's got multiple elements and that I don't know. But anyway I'm gonna take this cover off. There's something missing off there. But it's exposed the screws so it's like two positive screws there, probably the same at the bottom. I'll whip that cover off and see what we've got. So it looks like we've got a bi-metallic heat, uh, heat control. So obviously it gets to a certain temperature, it'll turn off and then turn on. That looks like the three-way control. So what you got, you got one, two, three powers. Not sure what that is. Then you got your elements. You got two elements with one common neutral. So it's easy to test. I'll just test this for on and off. And then I'll test the elements. Make sure there's continuity through this switch, whatever it is. Looks like a relay, but And that's it really, pretty simple. Not a lot to them, so I'll do a bit of testing. Alright, so I'll just set my multimeter up to continuity. I've got it either side of this switch. So if it's working, it should beep when I turn it on. Ignore my microwave. <laughs> so there you go, it's getting continuity through that. So that switch is fine. This one's more complicated to test, I'll do that last. So I'll check this one here now, make sure there's continuity across it. There might not be because obviously the power's off, so what I'll get set. So I just tested that, there's no continuity through it. I'd imagine it's some sort of solenoid or something that needs power going through it for it to function. But anyway, I'm skipping that for now, going on to the elements. So if we make sure the elements are okay, that only leaves the multi-switch or this thing. So I've got it set up on the elements. I've got one lead connected to the neutral and one connected to one of the positive leads of one of the elements. And that is measuring at 72 ohms. So I'll swatch it to the other side. And we're getting like 63. So the elements are good. So I'll move on. So I know the elements are good. I know this bar metallic switch is good. So it's over this control switch or this device here, which I don't know what it is. I've got to do a bit of research. Okay, I don't know how I missed it. There's a thermal cutout here. So it's not continuous. So obviously it must have uh, overheated and cut that out. That should have been the first thing I checked and tested, really. But never mind found the fault now so I'm glad because I don't know what this is and that would have took a bit of testing to get the leads connected but I found the problem anyway thermal cutter always check them first they're always a main culprit